if you are considering it as like your future career, definitely do this because it's really beneficial for your future. To get into so many different fields and areas of, of engineering, so constantly changing the focus. Was a lot. I really like building cars with like solar panels on them. That was cool. We would study in class and you'd like learn something and you'd have no idea how you're going to use it for something and then you'd literally build a project from nothing out of the things that you learned. Do it because uh, they're not lying when they say like it'll, it'll help you out with your problem solving skills. It definitely makes you think, and um, it's it's refreshing. Like you know what how things work in real life. Like the clock, for example, you know how the clock is operated, and you get to make it on your own. We could use this stuff in real life, and you learn how it's being able to be used. And it'll be in the end, it'll be rewarding. I mean, our product got launched by a company. It really is um, thought changing. I've really like changed the way I think. I feel like I'm more problem solving. Even if you don't end up doing engineering or going into the field, you know, after high school, you still get a lot out of the program. You still learn a lot of information. You know at least what you don't want to do or what you're like, more interested in. And you just get really cool opportunities and everything. It's, I would definitely recommend it because it's a great learning experience that will hopefully put you in the direction where you want to be an engineer. Hi, welcome to engineering. Come on in. My name is Valerie Zenzi and I'm one of the three instructors for pre-engineering program here at Worcester Tech. You have to take five classes all together and I will be instructor for three of them for you. In engineering program, we will talk about um, all kinds of fields of engineering. So if you ever wonder whether engineering is for you, we will let you know. You will try on your future here with us at Worcester Tech. In your first class, you will learn about um, 3D modeling. We will be 3D printing some things, putting some things together. You will live a life of a designer and go through design process in this class. Maze game where you use uh, these two levers to uh, turn the maze to get the marble from the start to the finish. It is amazing. Yeah. And then, a little example. Tetris is basically Tetris. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a little bit Tetris. different though. So we have all of our pieces here, and you drop it in from the top, and you stack them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you try and use as least amount of the pieces as you can to get them up to you. Okay. Let's see the pieces. Um, one person uses the nose and one person uses the nose and you stick the ball in the middle. And I'm trying to score on that side and you're trying to score on this side. Okay. And then you can do the same thing with the other one. Okay. So you just have to do the same thing with the other one. Okay. Let's see it. <laughs> nice. It's a cardboard labyrinth as a two-player game in which each each person takes a set of strings and puts a where's the marble? Where's the marble? Oh. Into that into the hatch, and it's what it's supposed to do is here. It's supposed to go sideways. Like in this case, we would flip sides. Yeah, like this. And Y'all don't have a marble, do you? Yeah, this is our first time trying it, so we're... <laughs> Alright, so all it is is basic air hockey. You try to get the um, puck to the um, other person's goal with um, 
Okay. And it's first of five, so mm -hmm. so you can start with volume. So someone has to sit here and turn the crank to move the beam, and then someone can slide a penny on the top and try your luck. So we have the S and the P for it, mm -hmm. and then you roll it, and you try to get it in one of the quick things. Sorry, I'm really bad at it, so you want to try. <laughs> Hey. And then roll it back. So yeah, it, it, it just takes yeah. seconds. So you can see how long you shoot any holes. Mm -hmm. So just like each point has a certain point value, and then the blue bag will double. And yeah. Is there, do you guys have a, a like line where you have to stand? Uh, yeah, we can. When you play it, we can make it safe. The goal of the game is to make it hole. Each hole is worth a different amount of points. Five, four, threes, two, one. And lowest score. Lowest score wins. Yeah, but if you miss, you automatically get uh, like 10 points. In the second class I teach, it's digital electronics, and you will see what their digital electronics is for you. You will learn about soldering, you will put some circuits together with this crazy wiring. <laughs> Press the button and it randomly generates a number out of seven. Lead on the top of the resistor and the black lead on the bottom of the LED. So place the red on the resistor. You gotta put three in the change it to twenty. Yeah, I think that's like two. I think it's a like twenty and then two. Or possibly like two hundred. No, but when you did twenty, are you supposed to get five and nine at the end? Because that's what you got. No, I've got spawn. Oh, is the resistor now? Er, and finally, in the, the last class, the capstone and the engineering, you will learn how to put it all together and come up with inventions some, or innovations, something that you want to um, improve the world with. So um, I hope to see you in engineering, and I hope engineering is right for you. Hi, my name is Arti Samuan, and I teach the second program for Project Lead the Way pre-engineering course. Thus, in my course, students get introduced to different aspects of engineering. They learn through project-based learning. Uh, they learn foundations of mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, electrical engineering. They create uh, projects uh, in all these aspects uh, in order to learn the foundations of these courses. They create trust projects to learn about civil engineering. And finally, they create a test bed to test for all different sorts of programs in order to learn computer engineering as well. It's very interesting, uh, and it is really neat to see all different projects that students build throughout the course and the aha moment that they experience. Hello, my name is Sylvia Gallo, and I teach two of the election courses for Project Lead the Way Engineering. The first one is Civil Engineering and Architecture. In this course, students, will, um, one of the most fun projects that we do is create an architectural model. And after that, we move forward to learning more about um, building and design by using architectural software, Revit. We learn about residential buildings as well as commercial buildings. Another possible course that you could choose is aerospace engineering. In this course, we start by learning about flight. We learn about all the components of aircraft. And then we we'll move forward through um, some knowledge about space and how we can apply computer science and programming as well as robotics to solve problems on Earth and beyond. I hope to see you in engineering. Hi, my name is Shelley Mason and I'm one of the counselors here at Worcester Tech. By now you've been introduced to five of our over 20 programs. We'd like to invite you to learn about the remaining programs at our website. 
There you'll find detailed information, course descriptions, and further instructor videos that will assist you on fully understanding what the Worcester Tech experience is all about. So what's next? Well, what we'd like to do is help you determine what pathway is for you. Maybe you've already done that, but most students don't have any idea um, which career direction they want to take. So this is such an important part of your educational process that we've actually provided a tool to help you do that on our website. So there you'll see a tab called Parent and Student Resources, and under that you'll see College and Career Planning. And there you'll find a planning exploration activity, and it's filled with tools and resources that will help you determine um, what parts of your personality and your interests and strengths match what careers. And then there's also research tools there where you can type in any career and it'll tell you anything you possibly want to know about that. So once you've done those activities there, you hopefully will have some clarity about the direction that you're going in. The next resource that's there is a tool called um, High School Planning high school course planning sheet. And what that will help you do is to keep your end goal in mind and use your high school experience and your plan of study to meet that goal. So hopefully you'll find those tools valuable. If you work through those tools and you find that one of our programs here at Worcester Tech are for you, we will be delighted. And then you're probably asking, so what do I do now? Well, registration um, for a course here at Worcester Tech is easy. If you're an eighth grader presently, there's a link and a QR code at the end of this presentation, and you'll utilize that. However, if you're presently a ninth grade, 10th grade, or an 11th grade student, you'll simply make your request on your course request sheet that your high school counselor will give you. Now, sometimes those requests are made through PowerSchool, and you'll do the same thing. You'll just choose those courses for that program, and then that summer we'll take care of the rest for you. So I hope this was helpful. Um, regardless of what pathway you choose today, we here at Worcester Tech would be delighted to help you. Um, please feel free to reach out to us, and we wish you the best.